This is one of my favorite reactions. We take sodium hydroxide, it's aqueous, dissolved in water, and we drop in copper to sulfate, which is also aqueous. It's dissolved into its ions. And you can see when the copper to sulfate it hits the sodium hydroxide solution, it forms this solid, this precipitate. And the precipitate, that falls to the bottom. So here's the reaction. The aqueous sodium hydroxide and the aqueous copper to sulfate, they mix together. They form Na2SO4. That's aqueous. It stays dissolved. But that solid, that CuOH2, that's the copper to hydroxide, and that's the precipitate. Here we're taking some sodium hydroxide and we're dropping the copper 2 sulfate right into it again. You can see on the right, copper 2 sulfate is kind of a pale blue liquid. But when it's mixed with that sodium hydroxide, we get that blue precipitate. And we can kind of separate it out, clump it up into a big pile of copper 2 hydroxide. If we took that out, we could just dry it and have solid copper 2 hydroxide. This is Dr. B with the reaction of sodium hydroxide plus copper 2 sulfate, one of my favorite reactions. Thanks for watching.